I think the best revelation last episode, it's not about Ahsoka to prophesizing what's gonna happen to the hot spring with the Hans and everything, you know, at the end of season two. No, no, no. It was Megumin teaching everybody of the Axis cult how to scam people. That's how all this just started. Genius. The Crimson Demons truly are genius. From now on, I guess we're gonna try to save the father, even though everybody here is pretty sus, but I think he's innocent. Let's see what's gonna happen in today's reaction, though. Good job, Union. This is all your fault. We gotta go save the father. I don't think she cares, though. <laughs> okay. As long as she gets to eat, I don't think she gives a fuck. <laughs> She's so super chill. Here we go. What, a, what kind of scam is this? Wait, we're already selling out Father Zesta. Oh, uh, everybody obviously wants the next position, right? Of the leadership. <laughs> Vote for me at a discount. Bro, there's no loyalty. Everybody's just out for themselves here. Low? What age, hey? <laughs> this guy is just advocating for pedophilia and incest. I think I would go with the right guy at least. You know, at least he's giving us some bottle of water. I don't know. Hmm? Oh. Enjoy how? I, I like this. I like this mentality. You know what? Fuck working hard. Just give in to your innate desires. And call me big sister. <laughs> she really does get off and getting called big sister, huh? So, Jelly Slime just comes out of the tap like this? Is Hans already here? He's not though, right? Ah, uh, I don't know. This... Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Although I kind of want to see her drink right out of the faucet. Yeah, she doesn't give a fuck about Zesta. She just wants to drink it out of the faucet. Look, where is her priority? Isn't that his voice? That's his voice, right? Uh-oh. Making a pretty big scene outside, but... Nah, not really. She does not give a fuck about you. <laughs> so quick. Well, you're, you're pretty sus, but... Eh. But how did they find out? The honorable father, my ass. What changed their mind? Some kind of concrete proof? Lie detecting magic. Def That's not Senna, is it? Was it Senna? Oh? This is reminding you of Cosmo versus Senna. She seems pretty worked up, though. <laughs> Senna got bodied by Zesta, yeah? Man, I wish we got to see that scene. Licking toes? He has a way with words, doesn't he? Generosity. This verbal abuse is uh, second to none. Maybe Kazuma can probably compete, right? <laughs> Are they even big? <laughs> Just... I mean, if I were, like, uh, if, if the cops showed up and they just wrongfully arrested you and interrogated you like that, I, I think, and if you're innocent, yeah, I think it makes sense to do that. Who is this? Hey! That's, a uh, the lady that's looking for a Wolbach, right? I forgot her name. Doesn't her demeanor seem a little bit different, though? Yeah, her. But, 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 hold up. Did... Okay, it's the same girl. It's the same girl. Because, like, last time we saw her, she was a lot more, like, kind. Here, she looks pretty devious. Scandally clad. Vixen? I mean, if you look at her outfit, I don't blame him. Flaunting her bosom so... She's not flaunting them! Yo, set Zesta up with her. Vixen, Jezebel, flaunting her bosoms. You're indecent! But, I mean, if you kind of look at her outfit, though, I, it does. It, it's quite. It's eye candy. Absolutely. 
<laughs> I love the commentary though. The swimsuit with the trench coat. Is she though? I don't think she has to be our enemy. Yeah, she looks a little bit humiliated from Father Zesta's words. Mmm, you wanna get whipped, don't you? Here we go. Oh, horns. He saw it. Maybe he's into Demon Girl. Oh. Yo, Father Zesta! Such a casual reflect! Maybe he's not a joke after all. That's what I thought too, but... I mean, he is like the Pope of this place, right? What the fuck? He's kind of disappointed that it's a demon girl. I thought he might just get more hornier. Come on, you, you can you can allow orcs and ogres, but not demons. Come on, it's like the forbidden fruit. You know you want it. If anything, this should be like the most uh, desired race to get with if he's in like a religious position, right? Because it's like, oh, we shouldn't be with the demon girl, but. All right, we got the rest of the cultists too. Those tits are just out there though. Oh my god, look how tight that swimsuit thing. Oh, kind of reminding you of like aqua spells, huh? Hmm? Okay. Arc Priestesta. If, if you just step back and think about his position, like he is like an extremely powerful like position, and he is that strong. It's just that you know, we just seen too many see, like too many like degenerate sides of him. So I've been like treating him as a joke. Are they gonna maybe blame her for every? Oh, didn't have to rip all that off. <laughs> Maybe So you know how Aqua's instincts are to do Always like um It's against the undead right Look at this They just hate demons no matter what I thought that maybe Zesta's horniness would override it But even Zesta His innate like hate for demons is Overriding the horny Which is quite impressive I'd say I have no clue But it's cool that she can fly Stalk you. Oh, we're gonna go meet up with Kazuma soon. Wiz, maybe? They're just following Megumi. What a coincidence. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make a detour first. Oh, then I won't go there immediately. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Union. Just say that you want to travel with Megumin. Come on. I think Megumin understands what's going on. Money? A small pouch, but... Oh. Wow, Zesta's actually being a homie at the end. We did teach him how to scam. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> Megumin, what have you done? <laughs> we should be getting compensated way more than this. He's just fucking paying for the bus fare. Bro, we just like, in all this new strategy is just gonna make their cult grow bigger. Like, Megumin should be getting a bigger cut. That means Union has to go right away too, right? Oh, actually, no. Nah. Sightseeing's kind of boring. I think I'm gonna head out immediately. Oh, uh, uh, maybe I've changed my mind? This is cute, though. Hmm. Just, just thanks, right? You're nothing sus going on here, right? Alright, maybe I will. And then Union has to do too. Hotspring? Hotspring! Oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh, they are stacked. Painting with the lolly. Give, call me big sis. <laughs> um, does it make this any better that it's two girls? Like, like if this is Kazuma in here, right? There's 
Gender equality would state that you would judge a guy and the girl about how if like if if a guy and a girl both had a preference for lolly, they should be they they you know we should call them out both equally. But just because it's a girl it feels a little bit more okay, you know. Obviously, double standards exist. Oh, yeah, yeah, just right beside. Okay, gonna call me big sis, maybe. No, not really. Oh, maybe we'll do explosion here and then cause a huge crater for biggest hot spring. I wonder if we saw that hot spring then in season two. <laughs> here we go. Did we see the largest bath in season two? Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but Megumi definitely didn't imply anything like that. Or at least from what I remember. <laughs> Here we go. The biggest hot spring ever. I love how the explosion magic effects are just conveniently hiding her <laughs> ass and titties. What if this, this is a huge problem? Like, maybe we shouldn't have done this. I don't know. Everything worked. Oh, a rainbow? Is that scientifically at nighttime? Because I, I guess there was like, you know, a source of light through the fire explosion that could show it and it didn't like extend all the way, but I don't know. Cool rainbow. <laughs> this guy has some other idea. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, dude. We didn't get to see Zesta though. He was like out somewhere in season two, right? Buddy, you have no idea. But, oh, nice blessing. But <laughs> we're about to go party up with your goddess. Yo, Union doesn't get one? No. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I guess everybody learned how to spit from Zesta, maybe? What is it? Clothes or food or... Is... Are you... Pamphlets? Really? Nah! Get the fuck out of here. Spit too. <laughs> Full of advanced classes. Yeah! We got an Arc Priest, we got a Crusade. Is that Hans? I think that was Hans, maybe? Yeah, that's Darkness. We got a Cosmo. You got, you got Aqua there, yeah? And you, the nuke. I mean, it's not gonna happen in the way that she's thinking, but she's not wrong, right? That was a nice little visit to our cultish town. We actually got to see Father Zesta too in action. And the best part is that Mega Means, again, taught everybody how to scam. Fucking ridiculous. I think we saw Hans at the end there, and then that kind of leads into what happens in season two. Do we get to see Father Zesta again, maybe in season three and onwards? Like, I it would have been nice to see him in season two. But then again, if I didn't see this, I wouldn't have any idea, right? But still, Father Zesta, as degenerate as he is, pretty funny. You got to give him that. Now, this is episode eight. We have nine, 10, 11, 12, four more episodes. So I guess we're going to go in. Mega Means going to get rejected from everybody in Axel. It's going to be depressing. And then at the end, she, uh, she finally finds Kazuma, and then Konosuba begins, is what I'm thinking. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.